Good evening, my classy people. Wayne Bolden, I'm here at the Speed King channel. It is Friday, one day out from this year's $1 million Haskell over there in beautiful New Jersey, for sure. Remember, tip sheets will be available for the Haskell and Saratoga this Saturday, the 20th. They're 20 bucks. Please email us at SpeedKing24 at Yahoo.com and or text the office here, 732-804-0637. Hey, I wanted to put out a short video. I got a message today from our ambassador, Scotty Mack, up there in the Minnesota area, right? That Bob Baffert and Churchill Downs has come to a resolution. Churchill Downs have lifted and rescinded the suspension of the Hall of Famer, two-time Triple Crown winner, Bob Baffert. So I am happy for Bob Baffert, for sure. I thought... That has the extended um, suspension was a little over the top on Churchill Downs' fall uh, part. And I say that cheek and tongue because I'm no real big Bob Baffert fan, but I just thought it was totally unfair. I thought he had paid his price and um, he never took responsibility for the medication in uh, the, the, the uh, Derby winner, Medina Spirit, and uh, later on in Medina Spirit passed. But he apparently took full responsibility that it, you know, the buck stops with him in terms of medication and, and like that. And um, of course, he sued them a few times as well as the owner of Medina Spirit and moved to trying to get moved into uh, this year's uh, Kentucky Derby. But all that being aside, uh, I thought Churchill's uh, management did the right thing by uh, lifting that ban on Bob Baffert. It's been three years for sure. And maybe the famous barn number 33 will be back, right? Uh, everybody knows about Bob Baffert's barn over there at Churchill Downs, barn number 33. And he's a staple for the Triple Crown races, obviously. And he's won that race quite a few times. And of course, he's won a couple Triple Crowns. So again, uh, he's took full responsibility for the medication of Medina Spirit and anything that may or may not have happened with the horse for sure. Uh, you know, ate a little humble pie and, you know, so it is a give and take in this thing. And I think Churchill uh, Downs authorities appreciated that and they lifted the band on Bob Baffert. And I really do believe it was the right thing to do for sure. So I'm happy for him and his family and the connections of all these owners uh, because they do have tremendous horses, uh, two-year-olds and three-year-olds that's always vying uh, for the classic races and none bigger than the Kentucky Derby the first Saturday of May for sure. So I just wanted to have a healthy discussion uh, here on our channel in our community what you think about the suspension for sure and where do we go from here. We obviously will see Bob Baffert um, from one end of the country to the other with these great great horses uh, him and his connections usually have uh, prepping for uh, two-year-olds prepping for the Derby for next year and of course the Breeders Cup is out in Del Mar this year and Del Mar opens up this week as well so again a happy time for Bob Baffert and I think it's actually um, a plus for the for the, the sport okay he is you know the face of uh, horse racing uh, you know, and everybody knows Bob Baffert, and you know, again, it's the right thing to do, in my opinion. Let me know what your opinion is. Let's have a classy speaking discussion as only our community can do. You know, we'll keep it 100, we'll keep it classy for sure. Again, like I said, I'm no big Bob Baffert fan. And again, I had a little ownership into Authentic, you see, to my right and to my left. And he was obviously the trainer. So I got big respect for his craft and what he does. Again, I'm not, I don't run to the window to bet Bob Baffert's horses because I have a different opinion about some other things, which I won't share here. But again, you can't, you can't deny the work that he's done, his body of work. And he is a, he is a good horseman for sure. And uh, he deserved a, a little better treatment than I thought he got. And that's coming from a guy who's not a huge Bob Baffert fan. Because fair is fair, wrong is wrong. And I just thought it was a little over top. Uh, maybe not the suspension, but surely when they extended it. So again, y'all, let's have a healthy discussion as we go into a great, great weekend this weekend. The
The Haskell is obviously there at Monmouth Park. The CCA Oaks up there at Saratoga, of course, uh, with Torpedo Anna. And next weekend, the following weekend, the old Jim Dandy's running, uh, which I think Fierceness is probably going to be in there. I think they're going to bypass the, the uh, Haskell with Fierceness and just run Mind Frame and Tuscan Sky and send um, Fierceness uh, up to the Jim Dandy for the 27th. Let's have that discussion, y'all. As always, email me at speedkane 24 at yahoo.com. Have a great Saturday. Have a great weekend, for sure. Stay classy in all that you do.